Rifle Colorado Disposal Cell Pour Water Extraction Project began long before construction work on the site started in June 2024. The project was required to maintain the integrity of the cell due to pour water accumulation. We're at the Rifle Colorado Disposal site. Uh, we're about six miles north of the city of Rifle. And as long-term stewards of the disposal site, part of our requirements are monitor and maintenance the site to meet regulatory compliance and to protect human health and the environment. This project is designed to put in more extraction wells and a larger containment system for that leachate water in order to draw down the, the pour water levels and maintain our, our site function. Several subject matter experts were brought in to discuss project safety, well drilling, subcontractor guidelines, project management, construction management, engineering, environmental compliance, asset management, hydrogeologists, geochemists, procurement and contracts, remote sensing technology, and environmental and geospatial data management. These subject matter experts assisted DOE in reviewing cell design, considering poor water accumulation, and determining the best location to place new water extraction wells within the cell. Contracts were signed with multiple subcontractors. On-site equipment was secured for drilling equipment and earth-moving machinery, storage containers for personal protective equipment and related radiological control items, and a mobile office. Procurement streamlined acquiring such equipment and continued to play a big part in resolving supply issues as they arose. Organization was a key factor through all phases of planning and executing for the pour water extraction project, and the project manager oversaw the project, enabling the subject matter experts to direct the technical aspects of their work. Some of my responsibilities in this role were first integrating with the LM site manager and project sponsor, who is Mary Young, and the LMS site lead, who is Clark Murphy, and then really focusing and targeting, managing project-specific scope, schedule, budget, and risk management. Another big effort that were part of my responsibilities were building the integrated project team and creating the structure and the environment to really lay out the planning efforts for the path that laid ahead um, all the IPT team members. After LM completed the planning phase, work began at the site in June 2024. Drilling began on top of the cell, working toward the goal to install 10 additional extraction wells, totaling 12 wells actively drawing water from the cell. An additional four monitoring wells were drilled to measure water levels in the cell. While the main drilling work progressed, other teams constructed two modular evaporative tanks to contain the additional water planned to be extracted. Pipelines connecting all the wells were attached to the modular evaporative tanks. All components for solar powered systems that operate the pumps, remote sensing data gathering systems, and transmitting units at each well were constructed. On December 10th, 2024, the first operational test demonstrated a steady flow of pour water from the disposal cell into the modular evaporative tanks. Once the first few wells began successfully pumping water, the remaining wells were brought online to continue removing pour water from the cell. Work on the site is now complete and the wells are working as expected, extracting the pour water, site monitoring using the remote data gathering equipment on each well, and adherence to the long-term surveillance plan will continue to protect human health and the environment. Work on the Rifle Pour Water Extraction Project has been a collaborative effort. It took over 130 people working together to complete this project successfully. One team, one mission is something we all live every day.